you ready? Yeah. Oh, we already fixing that this way too. All right, what's good? Uh, before we get started, we giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadas. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akin, to the brethren. Okay. We are here in Columbus, Ohio once again. Hey, Lord willing, this video will go up on YouTube. We think the, the channel is off is off uh, probation. What do you call it? Suspension. You know, we just did a six-month bid, six bid on YouTube. But, uh, you say you had a scripture? Yeah. We'll get this thing started off with a scripture. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is Sirach 1. 14, cause I, was, I don't know, I just thought that, cause you was like, you said, you ready, before you, I don't know if you caught it, before you start the video. Oh, I said, are you ready? Yeah, and I was just, you know, them, one of them uh, little quotes that we say, I'm born ready, whatever the case is. I'm born whatever. ready. Yeah, but uh, that just made me thought of uh, this, uh, Sirach 1 and 14, it says, to the fear of the, uh, to fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. Ooh, it was created with the faithful in the womb. Because really, ultimately, if we're doing the work of the Lord, that's because the Lord chose us from the womb. And ever since, really, ever since we was children, you know, we seen the world from, we was looking at this world like, what the fuck is wrong with this place? You know? I, just, I did, I done cuss. See? I was said we wasn't going to cuss in the video. I apologize for using such harsh words. Yeah, but ever since we was little, we knew this world was evil. You know what I'm saying? Our, deep in our spirits. We different, because we're not the same as the rest of the world. We're not of the world. That's why the world, he chose us, he took us out of the world and brought us into this faith. That's why we out here teaching. Hey, get that scripture. You know you got a scripture on that one? What was that? Or they're any, any the one of, there's a bunch of them. They are not of the world. That's a good one. There's some good ones in John, First John. We, I think it's more John 17, I think, right? This is uh, John, uh, let me see, hold on, I gotta find it specifically. 15 and 19 says, uh, if you are of the world, the world will love his own, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Yeah, the world hates us. That's why all of our lives we've been rejected. You know, we could never be part of this world. And we wasn't ever getting no money of the world's money, was we? And none of the success of the world. Like, you see all these beautiful, happy people walking around. Yeah, we're not a part of that. We don't get no part of that. But really, that's a good thing, because we, we got the real riches, which is the Holy Bible. You know what I'm saying? The, the Holy Spirit. That's the real riches. These, hey, get that uh, James, just in the spirit. James, what's that? Uh, how you rich man? Because really, you shouldn't be jealous of these people of the world. You know, say so you see somebody with a Ferrari, you might get jealous, you know. But these people is wicked and evil. They got their riches by deceit, through fraud. This is uh, James 5 and 1. Go to now, ye rich men, reap and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Yeah, well, damn. You know that one scripture was that, uh, where it said, uh, uh, it's better to to to, um, to be poor than divide the spoil. I might have looked that up. To divide the spoil with the proud, because really, all these people's riches, even if Damn it. even if you actually really worked for it, which the so-called riches is American dollar, whatever country you in, those are not true riches. Those are rich got by deceit. This land is stolen. You already know that. The money is not really money. Yeah, Shit's trash. Funny not, money. Yeah, it's not gonna last. Oh, long. remember we should tell tell y'all that. A lot of people have been seeing signs on their banks saying the bank's going to be closed on election day. You know, because they, they're fearing a run on the banks. Because, you know, there could be a run on the banks or the economy could collapse. And you just, if you got all your money in the bank, you just lost it all. And or if all your mo uh, money is, all your assets is just paper dollars, you could lose it all. That paper could be turned worthless overnight. You know what I'm saying? Paper money. How is money? How does paper have value? You find that? No, we're gonna finish this real quick. Um, 
your gold and your silver is cankered, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it was fire. You have heaped treasures together for it for the last days. Or like these death, like these Edomites is some power. They heaping all these treasures together for the last days, you know? All these corporations, you know, these greedy ass corporations. Like you've got all these people working in these jobs. What's the average pay rate that you know the people get? That mo the average hour hourly rep wage. You know, I be talking to people, I talked to this guy, he said he made ten dollars an hour, bro. It's like how do you survive on ten dollars an hour? That's some, you can't even pay rent. Like the average rent out here is like what nine hundred. Oh, it's crazy. Like if you to live in a house in the hood, a house in the hood, in the hood, not even a nice neighborhood, is like nine hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred. Sometimes it's more than that. I thought it'd be like six. Because I work on houses, right? We was just working on a house up here off of Hudson. That's the trash. You know Hudson's trash, right? Yeah. You go up to Hudson, that's trash here in Columbus. That's the hood, bro. But we have this dude. He trying to get fourteen hundred a month out this house. Yeah, fuck that. But he is like knew everything inside of it. But it's still the hood. But who can afford that? Make it ten dollars. Even if you make fourteen dollars an hour, that's still hard to live off of that. You ain't got much left over. You know what I mean? That's because these corporations, you know, they hire all these people. They're greedy. They gonna keep millions and billions and trillions for themselves and give you pennies while you doing all the actual work and labor. says, Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which have you kept by fraud. Say they kept by fraud, they kept our money. Go ahead. Uh, Crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Yeah, yeah. The Lord of Sabaoth, that's the Lord of the army. So the, our cry, all these people's cries out here, they constantly working every day, you know. They can't never get ahead. You know, they're just working until they die. But they're crying out to the Heavenly Father. It says that the Lord of Sabaoth, that's the Lord of the armies. So the Lord of the armies, he hears our cries and our prayers. And what do you think he's going to do with them armies? Why do you think it mentions the Lord of the armies? Because Sabaoth means the armies. That's a Hebrew word. Hey, read that again. Uh, you behold the fire of the flavors who have reaped down your fields. Because if you kept by fry, cry if the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Lord of Sabbath, oh, go ahead. You have lived in pleasures on the earth and been wanting. You have nursed your heart. Oh, you have lived in pleasures on the earth. That's America. You know, they, these people out here, they living in pleasure. That's all they care about, pleasure. That's why America done turned into a weirdo festival. Okay, all the, did I been cussing? I got to watch what I say. We're going to get the video deleted, the channel deleted. You know what I mean? You really, it's like, what is, ah! How do I say this? Yeah, it's too late, ain't it? They're going to take it down, right? They're going to take it down anyway. It's like, can you even say that? I think as long as you don't say, like... I already called them crazy, weirdos. Cra crazy words, like, you know, you know the F the word. The F word? Shit. Okay. And, you know, God be all the these time. These people are very crazy. strange out here. Yeah. They have very strange ways. Very abominable ways. Can we, can, can we say their ways are abominable? Because we've been putting videos on BitChute, man. I ain't got to... You can just let it go on there. You know, they don't care. Man, it's like, what? Come on, maybe these people, they're abominable, okay? They're not following the commandments. Engaged in all kinds of despicable acts. Like the scripture said, men with men working unseemly. That which is unseemly. And all they care about is pleasures. You know, everybody's doped up on drugs. Oh, do you see how that drug company that made the uh, opium, the pill, all, not the opium, yeah, the opium, but like all the Oxycontin pills? What's the name of that company, you know? Mm -hmm. But they just got sued by the government or something? Because they're responsible for some like 400,000 deaths or something crazy? Because everybody out here is doped up on some kind of pills. They're, they're taking, pit, popping pills, sniffing pills, you know, getting high on cocaine. You know what I'm saying? You watch the rap videos, all they care about is pleasure. Always talking about sipping lean, doing all kind of drugs. They don't give you of anything, of any kind of value in a rap video. What kind of value do you get from a rap video? Were they shooting a rap video over here? What's he doing? That's that narcissist. How you say this shit? Narcissism. Yeah, these these girls. When I put them on camera, they over here taking pictures of themselves. You know, like posing and stuff. You know, that's narcissists. Narcissisms. That's narcissistic. That's how you say it. 
But I, I forgot this article. I ain't, I got to go into it. But uh, I didn't read much of it. But it said people that take so many damn selfies, God, that's a fucking mental issue. Like, you just constantly taking selfies with yourself. Like, that's just... I can never really take a selfie with myself, you know? I just feel like, ugh. Yeah, it's like, come on, come on, man. What, it's, just, it's just so vain. Yeah. That's vanity. That is like vanity. I got, I got, um... Yeah, how beautiful is your body going to look when it's decaying in the earth? You got worms going through your eye sockets. They taking glory. See, they taking glory in the flesh. See that? They glory in the flesh. And the flesh is trash. I got, I got two scriptures. This is uh, Proverbs 21 and 17. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. Yeah, because, yeah, that's why a lot of y'all ain't got no money. Because it's hard enough to make money as it is with these uh, low hourly wages and whatever. Most of y'all don't have your own businesses. But a, but a lot of y'all, y'all got all kind of vices, you know. You getting high on these drugs, you wasting all your money on alcohol. That's the biggest one. A lot of people are goddamn alcoholics. You know, you wasting all your money on alcohol, partying, going to the bar, blowing your whole check at the bar, just so you can have a good time. Now, now you're, now you're worthless. I was about to say you're a pos. I can say that right. Code words. Yeah. <laughs> you do, now you're just a, a po. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Wait, they're taking two days to come down after us. I can see yeah, it. Yeah, people, people be spending hella money on video games and hella money on fucking shit. Oh, okay. Well, smoking <laughs> sure. weed in video games is Israel's favorite pastime, right? Yeah. It's just like, you ain't doing nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with playing games. You're just wasting your lives food. away. You're wasting your life You're away. This piece of shit. Oh, it's okay. I'm no, bad. Damn. It's, okay. it's impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> we can't do it. It, it, yeah. Worthless sacks of shits. Yeah. See, we already said it, so right, it's, it's over. It's <laughs> over. But yeah, like a lot of these people have no, like their hobbies doing nothing. Like, I mean, like like I said, nothing wrong playing video games. But that's like that's some people's only fucking hobby is playing video games, like sitting on your butt. I wish I could enjoy a video game. Yeah. I wish I could get some enjoyment and escape, but it's too serious out here. Really, really, I, it's too much other stuff going on, man. I can't even sit down and even enjoy a video. Plus, you play the new games, you know how long it takes to just get started on the first level? Yeah, I play every once in a while. That shit gets boring after a while. I think, the, really, for a large, a lot of those video games are designed to take away your time. To keep you occupied. Because, you know, the word entertainment means to tie you down. When you look up the etymology of the word entertain, it means it literally means to tie you down. That's really what sports do. I noticed that, man. I was watching the Buckeyes game. Was that yesterday? When they beat, uh, who did they play? They beat Nebraska. Cause I had some stuff planned, I had some work I needed, to, uh, you know, stuff you had to get done and whatever. Trash. But I watched that Buckeye game. I lost half my fucking day. I was like, this is a big waste of time. It just ties you up. You can't even do nothing. You waste your life away just sitting in front of a TV. That's a waste of time. That's why video games. The longer you play, you, you upgrade and you gotta do all this shit. Fucking shows. The end of this episode, they uh, sudden. Juicy about to happen, then they stop. So, so, so they, so they, so they can make you want to watch the next episode. You gotta wait a whole week to hit you with the out. cliffhanger, yeah. like the Mandalorians. You know that's coming. Come <laughs> you know you gonna watch the? Do you watch that? No, I ain't that comes it. out October thirtieth. Trash. That's the only show I was really looking forward to. I don't watch a lot of shows. These, uh, this is First Peter one. And uh, 13, wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you until revelation of Yahweh Shai. So, so, hold on real quick. So, you're supposed to be sober. And really sober-minded means really to be serious. Don't be all sloppy, drunk, foolish with it, mentally, spiritually speaking. You know what I mean? It's like, you got to take this thing. So you, instead of wasting all your time, it is cool to watch movies and play video games or whatever. That's not a sin. But, man, you should be getting this knowledge. You should be using the Internet. Hey, they could shut the Internet off, off on the election because they don't want you to know who got the results. You know, they get, you don't know what's going to happen. So, first of all, you better get this truth while you still still can get it. You know what I'm saying? You should be studying. studying. You should be studying everything, man. You know, these people, they just waste their time on YouTube watching video game videos. And you should be 
learning something about history. You, I know you be watching them Bible documentaries. I ain't watched one in a minute. But. You know, watch some something on a Bible lecture, documentary. Watch all kind of stuff. Don't waste your time engaging in foolishness. Playing video games all day. It says, as obedient children, not fashioning yourself according to the form of lust and your ignorance, but as he which I've called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Yeah, all holy in all manner of conversation. So usually, shit, usually all the time, like when we talk off camera, we're still talking about the scriptures. You know, we'll see something. And we're like, oh, that's this scripture. That's that scripture. You know, that's how we always talking. Uh, hey, even if we play a video game, we'll see something in the game. Like, oh, they got that from the scriptures. You know? So we always comparing everything to the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Uh, wisdom of Solomon says wisdom should meet you in every thought. You know what I'm saying? So even if you are, uh, you know, in your downtime, like you're saying, playing video games or whatever the hell you're doing, you're still gonna be thinking about the scriptures one way or another. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not a time where you turn off, you know, being an Israelite or whatever. Like, oh, when you, uh, you know, going out, hanging out with your friends, or whatever. You just now you just just be a complete nigga, smoking, you know, doing drugs, and no, you still thinking about the scriptures, but. but like with the video games, when we play a video game, we'll see it from a different lens too. Because if you play a lot of these video games, are occultic as hell. They got all kind of a occult shit in it. A lot of them are made by Freemasons. Like you notice, like a lot of popular characters are named after uh, ancient gods, pagan gods, or like Sephiroth. You know Sephiroth from what's that Final Fantasy? That goes back to the Kobala, that Sephiroth shit. Or what's another one? You play Soul Calibur. You got Astaroth. And that's one of them ancient demons, Astaroth. So they always, you know what I'm saying? But the average person plays these video games. They think these are just made up names. But like a, a lot of these video games, they draw them from the ancient paganism. And they put all kind of witchcraft in the games. All kind of ancient symbolism in the games. And the average person can't see it, but we can see it. Yeah, I remember watching Dragon Ball Z. I, was, I remember, what was like two characters. One is Majin Buu, that little pink nigga. And you got uh, Bobby D. What's his name? Bobby something, yeah, whatever. I like Kid Boo. Yeah. And you look at the Majin Boo, it's like something about some type of demon or some shit. Oh, yeah, Boo is a demon, right? Yeah, and then uh, Bobby D is like some, I think it was like some sorcerer or some shit. I forgot. I ain't looking it up. But yeah, I remember watching it also, too. Like, at the, like, I think a lot of anime does that. Like, in the middle of the show, it'd be like like a little short little break or some shit, whatever. Like a little two, like three second break, whatever. And then it'll show, it'll show Gohan in a truck or whatever, or car. And then we have 666 on it in a little circle and shit. Damn. Yeah, and it's like, it's just there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? You know. But, uh, did they hide every goddamn where? But, uh, it says. Because, like I said, a lot of these, uh, t to get your TV show on television and, and get it on these major networks, man, that's just got to be approved by Esau. And you got Freemasons running all that shit. Oh, go ahead. It says, uh,. This is the main point one it says and if you and if he call on the father who without respect the presence it's like damn, without, like he, um real quick too you know a lot of the japanese they ain't good with esau you know that right mm -hmm. you know they're part of a lot of them they got their secret little uh, fraternal orders they they have with the japanese men as well you know a lot of them japanese too they love trump mm -hmm. you know that Trash. oh they love him <laughs> I remember some Indian niggas worshiping that nigga. Cause them Japanese, bro, they really bought into Esau's ways. And when you look at them, their corporate structures and everything, their educational systems and everything is really patterned after Esau. Yo, all them nations, they be they be going to that little shit, and they be all having uh, suit and ties and shit. The only ones I see that really keep their yeah, the Jap clothes, Japanese is suit and yeah, tie. Yeah, look, look at your boy. Oh, the Trump. Hold up, get it. I get that Trump. Get your boy. This is fucking he got his Trump flag. I don't know if I even got it. The only one I can think of that really wear, I can think of where really, still wears their natural clothes is some African nations in like probably Saudi Arabia, but Saudi Arabia is still Esau's bitch too. Oh they yeah. They getting tired of America too. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. I was, did you watch? Oh man. Did you watch Kanye West on Joe Rogan? No. Nah. Oh, he was just on Joe Rogan. Oh, that dude whacked. I mean, some of the stuff he says is on point, but he's whacked. He's whacked. But he, he said that. He's like, I don't wear a suit and tie. He pretty much said, that's the white man's clothes. He's like, why would you want to wear that? That's not my spirit. You know? 
wear a suit and a tie. I always felt funny my whole life if you had to dress up with a tie on. Like, this don't feel right, man. I feel like I'm being violated, you know? That's a violation right there. I gotta wear a suit and a tie. We feeling like a dork. People think that makes them look good. It's, uh, it says, um, verse uh, 18, uh, 17 says, And if you call on a father who will fight respect the persons, judge according to every man's work. This is the main point. Pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. See what I'm saying? Sojourning. What's a sojourning? If you a sojourner, that means you you constantly gonna move. This ain't not, like the little script says, this is not our rest. So you're supposed to, uh, you're supposed to be as, uh, also says, be as pilgrims. So you're supposed to spend your time here in the fear of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Not just wasting your time doing nothing but bullshit. We you know just, we just to pass them by. Yeah. I just thought of the scripture. It went away like that fast. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, you supposed to, oh yeah, what's that? What's the scripture? Um, uh, Redeeming the time. Where's that at? Uh, redeeming the time. That's crazy too, cause we've got we got prophets scattered throughout the earth. You know, the, all the brothers in the camps throughout the earth. You know, in our daily lives, people they didn't know the, know we the prophets, and we just walking around amongst them. They don't even know. You know what I mean? It's like y'all don't even know who y'all talking to out here half the time. That's the spirit, bro. What's that? Look, I was looking for that scripture that's about redeeming the time, right? Yeah. That's the class code as fuck. Uh, it says. Colossica, you said we amongst people they don't even know who we are. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? That is fucking cold. It's uh Colossians, Colossians 4 and uh 5 says, walk in wisdom towards them that are without. We're demon in time. You know what I'm saying? That's the spirit, cause we, we, we got walking wisdom before the people that that were without the truth. Yep. They still got redeem the time. They don't even know who, they don't they, they don't even know who the hell we are. A lot of times, you know what I'm saying? That's that's crazy. It's just like we kinda like uh what do they call them? Clark Clinton. You know and that's why when we in our daily lives when we at work and whatever we you know we leave an impression on everybody through the spirit of the Lord. You be hitting them with little nuggets of truth and stuff, make them think. Yeah. You know. That's just like. And we, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. But we, we have it through the spirit of the Lord. We have the influence on the earth. Yeah. yeah. That's like the boy Clark. He don't. You know. Like I said, walk with wisdom must and foul. He don't just go out and just start kicking shit. He got the power to fucking. Destroy shit, but he he's you he gotta uh you gotta be walk with wisdom, you know what I'm saying? He's still hiding his identity, you know what I'm saying? But like you said, if something goes down, that nigga he gon' he gonna save the day. That's what that's what us. If something goes down to the spirit, we gotta, you know, move to the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Might leave a little nuggets. Somebody might say something, you might have to teach him a little bit. Yeah. Or whatever. But you gotta be careful of certain places that you are, cause you know like Sometimes sometimes you do, you gotta be like, I don't know nothing. Yeah. They'll ask me about politics or something at a certain job yeah. or something. Cause, cause I, I I talk to people like that with politics and people they get fucking mad. So I'm like, I don't even do that shit no more. Cause people get fucking all yeah. They'll and start shit. they'll start going up talking about oh Trump he's a motherfucking bastard that orange motherfucker. Yeah. Oh shit I'm gonna cuss him again. <laughs> some people <laughs> yeah hey, some people will kill your ass for Trump. They ready. They oh ready, yeah they ready. Goddamn. So you yeah. See, I remember dude, this dude, he a Jake though, and it's funny his name is Jake. But he be dead serious about Trump. You know what I'm saying? He, oh my goodness. He, you know, I remember I noticed like I don't say nothing around him because he he probably fucking try to kill your ass. He was like, yeah, that's my boy. Like Trump 20, they 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 motherfuckers rep, rep that shit like a game. Trump 2020. Hey, nigga. What well, usually I tell him? people, I tell them I, I don't really get into politics. It causes too much division. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I say. Together, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's the answer. They're not ready for that one. <laughs> See? Yeah, I, so, say both trash, I vote for the Lord. That's where my vote's going. And then if you, if you tell them you're going to vote for the Lord, they'll, they'll think that's ridiculous. You know? I wonder what the word vote means. Let's look that up. We ever do an etymology on votes? Because we know in the kingdom of heaven there ain't going to be no voting. I'm going to look the word vote up. Because this is ridiculous. We got this thing called voting. We gotta get to the bottom of this, like, voting. Who came up with that? The devil. You gonna let the people vote on what they can do or what they can't do. They get, the people get, but that's crazy. The people get to vote on the laws. The, here it is, the Lord gave us the laws. And he said, add not unto his word. And, and he also said, don't take away from his word. Y'all adding and taking away and making up new laws. You know, came up with a whole new document called the Constitution. You know? 
Where in the Bible it said to go make up your own constitution? They go before that. They go to that before the Bible. Exactly. Oh, my constitutional rights. Fuck that shit. My bad. I keep cussing. My bad. Yeah. But, anyway, but, but you, you, how about the Bible? What about the, you, instead of instead of with a cop pull you or fuck with y'all people for no reason? Y'all don't quote Bible scriptures like according to this scripture you shouldn't be doing this to me. Nah, they quote the Constitution or whatever the hell, all that stupid crap was made them but by uh, Edomites, all right. That had none, especially had none, uh, had none of you Jakes in in mind when they made it because y'all were slaves at the time. So yeah, in the Constitution it said uh, so-called black people were three fifths of a man. Uh, wait, they only their what well, their vote only counted what three fifths of one vote or something like that. That's in the Constitution. I think it's still in the Constitution. Fuck out of here. What? This is the noun. Oh, come on, man. This is not right. Trash. I'm trying to look up this word boat. This ain't right, though. Hold up. A boat. Oh, that's a noun. I gotta look up the verb. Gentlemen. How about the accent? Oh, here it is. Check this out. It's. Check this out. I, we didn't know this. Did you know this? Uh, Vote. Claim. Sorry. Okay, stay claim. focused. Claim. Look, this is good though. Yeah. Look, this is the etymology of the word vote. <laughs> Look, from Latin, votum. Or what well, actually in Latin would be pronounced votum, right? They say V's are really pronounced as W's. From Latin, votum, a form of wovio or vow. I vow. Cognate with ancient Greek. Uh, Yukamai to vow from Proto Inner European. The word is a double of it means to vow, like a vow. You know, I'm gonna look up the word vow. That's how you do it. That's what you gotta do. Instead of playing a video, this is the new game you play. Vow, V O W. I already got it. No sound. Yeah, V O W. Are you gonna look at scripture? I was thinking of scripture. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good but idea. Did it say we put we put to make a vow to to heaven? Oh, there is a scripture on that. I Just can't remember. Where look, that look up the word vow. See, this is like we say. You a lot of people waste their time playing video games. This is a more fun game. This is the real life game. We get to the bottom of things. See. Uh, here's vow. The etymology of the English word vow from Middle English vow. From old French, which is Latin votum, a promise, a dedication, to promise. Yeah, so they promise they vote, and when you say voting, you promise and dedicating to who? To Esau? It's not to the Most High. You know, you, oh, all your vow, vows are to be to the Lord. That's in Matthew the fifth chapter. Dude, that's a spirit again. Oh, what Matthew five? No, no, no. Soon, soon. Wait, wait. Well, that, yeah. As soon as you said that, I, I came across this one number. I looked at the word vow. It says number twenty-one and two. And you have a I mean, so like in Israel, vow to vow unto Yahweh, and said, if thou will indeed deliver this people into my hand, they will not utterly destroy the city. So just proving the point, vow to Yahweh. Yeah. yeah. Let me get that one. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, the word vote means to vow. The Bible clearly says, you only vow to the Lord. Yeah, uh, another one real quick, Numbers 30 and 2. If a man vow to vow unto Yahweh, or swear if an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceedeth out of his mouth. Does it say vow? I think it's word swear, right? All he has you swear, but a swear is a vow, ain't it? But there's another scripture to say. I'll just do this one because swear is different. I think it does say vow somewhere else. Did you find any other ones? Uh, you sure there's not a vow? Let me look it up on my phone. Let me read this real quick. I'll just get it out anyway. Uh, Matthew 5 and... Matthew 5 and... 33. Again, ye have heard that it hath been said by them of old time, Thou shalt not forswear thyself, but thou shalt perform, perform unto the Lord thine oaths. Okay, what a swear. Let's look that up. Well, we have to look it up in the Greek. See, you got to look all these words, and we do it to take forever on the video, would it? Mm -hmm. This is how you got you to go actually into the Greek text and look that word up. I'm about to do it, too, here in a second. It hath been uh, said, whosoever shall... Uh, excuse me. I messed it up. 
Again, ye have heard that it has been said of them of old time, Thou shalt not forswear thyself, but shalt perform unto the Lord thine oaths. Is that an oath of vow, ain't it? I'm going to look it up, though. But I say unto you, Swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither shalt, neither shalt thou swear by the head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. But let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay, for whatsoever is more than these cometh evil. All right. But you got something? I'm still trying to find it. Uh, damn, that's not good. I bet somebody on the common board probably got something for us. All right, I'm looking this up. I'm trying to be quick. I'm going to look at that Matthew 5. So that's a good thing about coming out here teaching. We come out here to teach. We out here to look, learn and looking stuff up. You know what I mean? That's the thing, too. I tell brothers all the time. You don't really start learning anyways until you start teaching. You know, you. I mean, you learn the truth before, you, you know, but when you start teaching, that's when you really start learning. When you go out making videos and stuff, that's when you really start learning. All right, where are we at? Matthew 5, man. Did you find anything yet? I'm trying to remember how it's working. Anyways, if I can't find it, I'm probably going to find it. Well, I got this Matthew 5 and 33. I was going to look up that word oath in Greek. It says horkos. Horkos? Herkos? Is an oath. Funny thing? Trash. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna find a scripture for you. Pull something else out so we're not looking like we're slow. Hey, 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 you gotta be patient. You know yeah, you gotta be patient. You know, they try to keep it going. You gotta keep it going. A lot of y'all got a short attention span. They're like, oh, I'm clicking off. I'm going somewhere else. But I got the good search engine right here. Cause I, I, I'm in the study mood now. I want to look up a thousand different words. We got to go back to the scriptures. Uh, this is um, Isaiah 28. Got hot 28 and um, and start at 14. It says, Wherefore hear the word of Yahweh, you scorn for men that rule this people is in Jerusalem because ye have said we have made a covenant with death and, and with hell are we at agreement and see they make the covenant with Esau and then agreement because a lot of people either they vote for they vote for one or another a lot of people they either vote for a Democrat most likely niggas is voting for a Democrat or they vote for a Republican you know what I'm saying it says really you're not supposed to agree with none of that shit the Republicans and the Democrats both fucking Edomites they trash so, fuck both of them, you know what I'm saying? It says, I can cut this a lot. With hell are we at agreement? When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. And that's what these people think. They think that, like, like going more to you niggas. Y'all think that, okay, since we're going we gonna to vote for uh, a Democrat, then nothing bad is going to happen to us that, you know, everything's going to be okay. Or oh, this black nigga Obama, he going he gonna to make America great, you know what I'm saying? And now everything's reversed. Now they think, oh, Trump is going to make America great. You know what I'm saying? They, they think that nothing's going bad is going to happen. But really, you look at the presidents, they're this fucking, what is this shit? They both big-ass children on a, on a, on a what do they call it, a little debate, yelling at each other, calling each other's names, interrupting each other. The scripture says don't interrupt, interrupt a man in his speech. That's what they was doing the whole time. They act like big-ass children. And these are, this, is, this is supposed to be y'all president. They but, uh, both liars. I mean, if you look at it from a non-biased perspective, Trump, he lies all the time about all kind of shit. And Joe Biden, pff, forget about it. This dude, they're both they're both liars. And like, and people are there in denial. They got, they're delusional. Yeah. They can't believe that their guy could, oh, and they'll look past the lies. And you all know they lie, but you look past it. We don't lie about nothing, do we? We try our best not to. We don't ever lie. It says, 
it says, when the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. They made lies their refuge. Yeah, they, they take comfort in them lies, you know? That's crazy. You can make more jobs for the black community. If you're not black, you, you, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. Stay, come on, man. It's just ridiculous. What else says? Come on, man. You hear Joe Biden? He's like, come on, man. <laughs> he always says that. It's his favorite catchphrase. Come on, man. Yeah. He just said, they got proof. Look it up. Type in, type in Google, Joe Biden descends from slave owners. Type it in. And it pops up. Even Snopes, you know, usually Snopes, we say, oh, it's false. Sorry. But even Snopes said there's truth to it. Look it up. Says, so yeah, he's proof. He's an Edomite. And Trump's an Edomite too. Trump, Trump was always bragging about his genetics and about where he is his people. You know, he's a he's an Edomite. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation of stone, a child a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. And that's what we doing. We believe in Yahweh Shai because he's that he's that cornerstone. We not believe like you said. We vote for the Lord. We don't vote for Trump or, or uh, the other nigga, whatever the fuck is Biden. You know what I'm saying, even if it was a black person, whatever. Who gives all them niggas trash? You know what I'm saying. We vote for how Yeah, they vote. We vow. We made our vow to Yahweh Bush and Shai, and that's it. You know what I'm saying. Uh, judgment also I lay to the line and righteousness to the plummet, and the hell shall sweep away the refuge of lies. And the water shall overflow the hiding place, and your covenant with death shall be dis disallowed, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing score shall pass through, that ye shall be trodden down by it. That's beautiful, right there. That's uh, what's coming. That overflowing score is coming. Ooh, I got more. Let's Man, see. America is already hell. Watch, it's about to be a fucking nightmare out here on these streets. It says, from the time that it goeth forth. It shall take you, for morning by morning shall it pass over by day and by night. It shall be a vexation only to understand the report. For the bread, for the bed is shorter than a man can stretch himself on it. Yeah, like we was going into early law. The this, bed is shorter than a man that can stretch himself on it. it, it That's crazy. The bed is shorter than a man. Yeah, I know you ever try to sleep on a little tiny bed. Yeah. You can't sleep in that bed. Is in the covenant narrow than that he can wrap himself in it. Uh, for Yahweh shall rise up in, in Mount Par 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 Parazim, he shall be uh, rough as in the valley of uh, Gideon, and that he may do his work, his strange work, and, pass to, uh, and bring to pass. Is that his strange work? Ooh, his strange work. And bring to pass his act, his strange act. Now, therefore, his be strange act? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because y'all's not ready for what's coming. They're not ready for the chariots. That's what y'all's not ready for. Go ahead. It says, not therefore be ye not mockers, for your bands be, uh, least your bands be made strong, for I have heard from the Lord God of hosts of consumption, even determined upon the whole earth. I got a scripture. We're going, I got, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the ultimate scourge right there. That's the ultimate scourge. It's going to scourge the face of the earth. Look at these weirdos. Oh my God! I hey, going back to the vows. Check this out. Psalms uh, 116 and 14. This uh, says, "I will pay my vows unto Yahweh now in the presence of all His people." Well, we'll break that down. And listen to what it says. You're gonna pr pay your vows unto Yahweh in the presence of all His people. Who's the Lord's people? The Lord's people is Israel. So we're supposed to do our vows unto Yahweh in the presence of the of Israel. Not in the presence of Esau, in the presence of the heathens. And the heathens ain't got no part of it. They can't at all. Look, 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 look. The heathens ain't got a vote. They, they can't vow. They're not part of this. Can, can a heathen go, uh, <laughs> can a heathen go offer up a sacrifice to the Lord? You know what I mean? The heathen ain't getting blessed. Is a heathen going to get anointed with the oil? A heathen ain't getting anointed. But look, I looked this word up, uh, vow, in the Hebrew. I'm going to get the Hebrew word for vow. Is, it says nadar. N-D-R. Nadar. 
look, it says this verse is omitted from the Septuagint. You see that? Why did they take that out the Septuagint? How can the Septuagint missing scriptures? Look, you see it? This verse, look. I don't know if y'all can see that. It says this verse is omitted from the Septuagint. Because you know vocab alone and then they try to go to the Septuagint. I mean the Septuagint, y'all guys probably not even the real Septuagint. This verse, that's crazy. That's bugged out. I'm gonna go up here and uh, look up this word in the door. Is that my vows? Nadar. It says Nadar, a promise to the Most High. It's a promise to the Most High, also concretely a thing promised, a vow. A, a vow, votive offering. Oh, that's it right there. One thing, okay. Oh, look, a voluntary gift. A voluntary gift. You got something? I actually seen a few more scriptures. There's a bunch of them in the Psalms. Did you see those ones? This is uh, I got one for the Second Kings, fifteen and uh, seventeen and fifteen says, uh, and they rejected his statutes and his covenant that he had made with their fathers and his testimonies, which. He test, uh, testified against them, and they followed vanity and became vain, and went after the even that were around about them, concerning how they had charged them that they should not do like them. And we made a vow to to, to keep the uh, covenants, but Israel, we uh, the Israel, they they uh, they forsook the covenants that that we vowed. That remember, we, I think we read that last week where it said uh, that we should all obey the Lord. And if we don't, we're gonna be destroyed. Everybody vowed before the Lord. And since people, they rejected that, and now they go into the heathen and bow to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're giving their vows to the heathen. They're giving their vote to the heathen. That's crazy. The word vote means vow. They're giving their vows to a heathen, to Esau. They're going to vow. they voting for Donald Trump. You know what I mean? Because Donald Trump, he always talking about, oh, he believes in the most high. And you notice something? Well, none of these politicians have beards, do they? I think Ted Cruz got a beard. But he's fake as they come. You know, he's just a politician. Ain't none of these dudes following the scriptures. You know, they wake up in the morning. They got a, a bacon and egg breakfast. You know, they're eating bacon every day. They're not following the commandments. They're not teaching our people to follow the commandments. Did you ever hear it? Did Donald Trump get up there and say, follow the commandments? I ain't never heard it. Joe Biden ain't never said, follow the commandments. I ain't never heard none of these politicians get up here and drill the commandments in your head. That, that's what, if you was a real leader, that's what you would do, right? What do the elders do? They get it. They, they tell you the commandments. If they see somebody doing something foul, they are gonna say something about it. Like that goes against the, this commandment. That goes against that commandment. You know, you catch a guy committing adultery, they they gonna bring the scripture out. I ain't never seen no politician bring a scripture out when somebody got caught doing adultery. You know, or if somebody got caught being a homosexual. Hey, you can be a homosexual, run for mayor, run for governor, you can run for president. It ain't nobody going to bring out a scripture on him and bring out the commandment and correct him. It ain't going to happen. That's all some BS. Some politics. That's for the people of the world. Oh, what's that one scripture? In, uh, let me get it. I got you. Oh, here's a good one. No man that, uh, it's 2 Timothy 2 and 4, no man worth entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. That's the affairs of this life is with politics. What's another one, though? It's something about the people of this world. Oh, go ahead. This is, uh, Psalm 16 and uh, 2 says, On my soul that has said unto you, How dark my Lord, my goodness extendeth not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth. And to the excellent in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multi multiplied that have hastened after another God. Their drink offerings of blood, or blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. 
and how was the portion of mine and heritage and of my cup that I maintain as my lot. The lines are falling unto me in pleasant places, yea, I have goodly heritage. So this is pretty much the point I'm getting this, this, you know, we saying F the heathens and their idols, we, our inheritance is the Lord, you know what I'm saying? It says, I will bless Yahweh who have given me counsel, my rains also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set Yahweh always before me because he has my right hand, and I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoices, my flesh also shall rest in hope. about that rudiments of the world well, there's a couple i think i'm mixing scriptures together but i got one with the, the first corinthians where it says to go out of the world or something like that where's that at you go out of the world i just had it you're not supposed to be engaged with the people of the world are engaged in it this foolish activity <laughs> Well, yeah, let me get this. I think that's the right one. First Corinthians 5 and 10. Oh, what? Well, here it is right here. I'll just start at 5 and 9. First Corinthians 5 and 9, because really this is what it comes down to. Look, First Corinthians 5 and 9. I write unto you in epistle. Listen, I write unto you in epistle not to company with fornicators. These people are fornicators, right? You engage in politics. Even Donald Trump and all the, they'll say you got to respect every religion. You got, you know, you got to respect Buddhists, respect the Muslims. You got to respect Hindus and devil worshipers. Everybody has equal rights in America. But that's, that's spiritual fornication. That's, that's uh, spiritual. They committed adultery against the Lord. And they, oh, Donald, Donald Trump said he, uh, that he's, he accepts gay marriage, don't he? That's, for, that's literal fornication. That's because uh, the word fornication in Greek is porneo. Where you get a word porno. That's fornication. That's disgusting. Oh, there goes the video. There goes the channel. Man, we done. Oh, here we go. Okay, there's like three groups you're not allowed to talk about. You know that, right? On YouTube, you can't talk about the you know who's. You can't talk about the the LGBT tiers, and you can't talk bad about women. That'll get you deleted quick. All right, let me read this. First uh, Corinthians five and nine. I wrote unto you an epistle, not to company with fornicators, yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world, or the covetous, or extortioners, or with idolaters. For then must ye needs go out of the world. So we supposed to go out of the world. We're not supposed to be part of these people. Well, first of all, what are we teaching as the gospel? What are we teaching people? The first thing we teach them people is to repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom's at hand. We talking about the kingdom, we preaching for the kingdom of heaven. That's our vote. Our vote is to the king. That's our vow. Okay, is to do the work of the Lord until we reach the kingdom of heaven. That's what we fighting for. Y'all over here fighting for November 3rd. Y'all fighting to save America or to change America. You know, the people on the left want to create a new America. The people on the right want to preserve America. All this bullshit. All this stuff y'all talking about. You know? But we don't care about it, but we fight for the kingdom of heaven. That's what, we, that's what we're fighting for. That's the kingdom. And when the kingdom of heaven comes in, into being, all other kingdoms are going to be destroyed. Okay? The kingdom of heaven will not exist on earth at the same time with America. There ain't going to be no America in the kingdom. There's going to be the kingdom in the kingdom. That's what's going to be in the kingdom is the kingdom. And that's going to be the only kingdom. It's going to be the kingdom, not the democracy. It's not going to be the great republic of the Israelites. It's going to be, no, it's going to be the king. Emphasis on kingdom. It ain't going to be no voting in the kingdom of heaven, that's for sure. Voting. I think your vote even counts anyway. That's just a joke. These people actually think that they have a say. You ain't got a say. You got more? Uh, nah. It's uh, Colossians 2 and 8. It says, it says, uh, Beware at least any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Oh, that's the philosophies. They're going to come up with some uh, 
it's a libertarian philosophy. They'll try to get. I, I, they used to have me with that stuff before I came into the truth. I was kind of leaning libertarian politically or whatever. They try to get you with that. They'll try to get you with all these different types of all different types of philosophies. Some people might get caught up in the Marxist philosophy or the communist philosophy. Okay, but really the word philosophy means love of wisdom. That's all false wisdom. That's not the true wisdom. This is this is the true wisdom is right here. I'll go ahead. It says, uh, uh, after the tradition of men. Yeah, that's the tradition of men. Okay, that's the tra you can call yourself a libertarian. Where in the Bible is said to be a libertarian? Where's that at in the Bible? Where in the Bible is said to be a Marxist and have Marxist beliefs and ideology? It shit ain't in the Bible. Okay, communism. Where's that at? That's not in the scriptures. Go ahead. It says, uh, after the rudiments of the world and not after Mashiach. Right, you're supposed to follow the, after Yahweh Shai. And he said to follow the commandments. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Those are the commandments. Okay, that's the laws. That's the structure. That's the commandments. That's what you're allowed to do and what you can't do. this word out real quick. Because you know in America, how many millions of laws do they have in America? There's like millions and millions of laws on the books. But in the Bible, where they try to say there's like, what, 613 commandments in the Bible? Mm -hmm. Only 613. Now, you people already think that's a lot, but America has millions of laws. You can't even drive down the street without breaking the law. You know, you're breaking some kind of law. They could always say you're breaking something. So really, this is freedom right here. This is real freedom. What well, liberty? What well, is veritas liberabit votes? You know that? No. You don't know about that. The truth has set you free. That's that Latin. What would be a veritas liberabit votes? Votes? The truth is, that's what, it, what's that, John the Eighth? Is that John the Eighth? He said the truth has set you free. John, was that 8 and 12 or something like that? The truth set, set, set you free. Yeah. Hey, look, everybody down here posing. You got the shit river behind you posing away. Yeah, this river, we down here by the side of the river. And you get, it smelled disgusting out here, actually. I think we already got used to it. When we first came down here, you could smell it. It smelled like dookie. Trash. Look at they done destroyed the river, man. It was a beautiful river at once. Trash. They're going to skateboarders. It's that rudiment word. Uh, yeah, what is a rudiment? That's a good question. What the hell is a rudiment? It says, uh, the other, well, one of the, the other definitions is too damn long. It says, one of the uh, definitions is the elements from which all things have come, the material causes of the universe, uh, the elements, rudiments, primarily, and from, de from damn, fundamentally, Principles of any art, science, or discipline. Ooh. Uh, let me go to the strong rudiments. Boy, I like that word, rudiments. Because you got to have them rudiments, man. You got to have them basic core elements and fundamentals, man. You got to have the rudiments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why if you're playing basketball, he's like, he got them rudiments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Is it, it says something orderly in, in, in arrangement. In ooh, Esau, ooh, orderly in arrangement. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. And Esau's the ordinance of the world is. Completely out of fucking. Uh, oh, they're rudiments. Uh, Who? What, what I'm trying to say. Uh, they're not order. There they go. So they got the rudiments of wickedness. What, That's what, what they got. What's that? Job said. Uh, is, uh, they it's, got. Uh, it's a world without um, any. It's no order. Is that, is that darkness? Something like that. This is. This is without order. Yeah, you're supposed to do the order of the of the scriptures because these, like, like you're saying, this is not. I mean, women can go around just half naked. What well, can be homosexual. You can be pretty much a pedophile. You know what I'm saying? You can have sex with an animal. That's not order. One, and, and, and I know those two. One state is legal to do something, and the other state is not. Like, what the fuck? Well, that's because that America is really a, a collection of a bunch of own countries. Yeah, they, 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 say, they say it's the United States. Yeah, United States. So it's a, every state is its own nation. That's, that's trash. It should be all. Yeah, it's just confusing, one. man. You got to know them laws when you go to another state. Because mm -hmm. United means one, don't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, United, yeah, you got a different law in each state. No, oh, that's true though. That's that's confusion, ain't it? That's trash. That's more proof. Yeah. Is Babylon? That's confusion. You get confused. 
like in Ohio, now we, uh, we forever we had to have two license plates, one on the front, one on the back. But now you only need one. You know, a lot of states, driving to another state where they have different license plate laws, you get a ticket. I mean, that's a small example. Some states have the three strikes, you're out, I think. Every state's, like, you know, the gun laws in different states is way different. So you really got to know what you're doing before you just venture off into another state. Just all lollygagging around like everything's cool. Where's that? Um, go to, so I can. Cause there was another scripture too. Cause that was a good one. I, I don't know if that's the one I want. Oh, that's that's what I got. Oh, I think I know where it's at. The rudiments. That's a good word, right there. Rudiments. I'm gonna look up the etymology of rudiments. I got me thinking. Today's one of them word days. We just start looking at words. You know. Uh, we have the word of the day. The word of the day is vow and rudiments. Oh, oh, hold up. Let me see. Let me get this. Um, uh, Romans 12. I'm going to start at 1, but the point is in 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, that uh, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy. And holy means separate. So we're not supposed to be joined unto them. You know what I'm saying these damn heathens uh, acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that it's good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Because every way of this world is wrong. Everything they was taught, you taught growing up in America is wrong. That's the wrong path. That's the wrong way. Like the educational system in America, the public school system. And they just, they start you off on the wrong path to begin with. Every, every, since you were a little child, they teach you the wrong way. Just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, because they want to talk about rudiments, right? You're supposed to be taught them rudiments from the days of your youth. That's when you're really supposed to get them. You're supposed to, you know, teach these commandments to your children when they're real little. Teach them about Mo. You're supposed to be teaching your children about Moses, about the Exodus. You gotta tell them the Exodus story. You gotta tell your children the story of Joseph. Like even if they can't read yet, you know what I mean? You tell them the stories. Or some of them you can watch the uh, movies with your children. What's the one, the Exodus movie? And then every once in a while you gotta show them like, oh, they got that part wrong right there. You know this and that. <laughs> but you should definitely be telling your children these stories. You gotta tell your children the stories of Cain and Abel. <coughs> you should be raised on these things, man. That's the rudiments. That's a rudiment right there. The story of Cain and Abel. That's a rudiment. You know what I'm saying? That's some. It's some important. Important. That's important right there. Real, real quick. Uh, that's the root. One of the rudiments of mankind's history. Period. Of Cain and Abel. Go ahead. I got two quick ones. First Corinthians two and twelve. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. And uh, real quick, First Corinthians three nineteen. For the wisdom of this of the of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He that take uh, He take of the wise in their craftiness. Yeah, like all Esau's wisdom is so a lot. Some science he gets right, whatever. But yeah. you know, a lot of his science is trash. What about his political? What about the economic system? That stock market thing he got going on. That's a big scam <laughs> right there. What the fuck is that? Yeah. You know. That, that's a contrast. What's that called? That's mischievous madness. That's what's that? That's a, what's a word for that? That's some trickery. That's some deceit right there. I don't even got the right word for it. That's probably a really good word. I'm gonna start coming. I'm gonna start studying words harder. I'm gonna come out here with a uh, with a monocle. You know, in them. <laughs> Sorry. It's like. Is that what is it called? Monocles. Rudimentum. The word, the, the etymology of the word rudiment, it says it means the elements, but it goes back to the Latin rudimentum. It says first attempt, the beginning. It means the beginning, commencement, first principles. The first principles. So that's going all the way to the root of the word. Mm. First principles. Yeah, you saw, I think, is that fucking 1770 crap, the 1776 oh, crap. That's what they always go back to. With Al Jones, 1776 will rise again. Oh, God. Oh, head ass.
Fuck Alex Jones, man. That's a, you don't want to. That's brain cancer. You don't want to stay. That's a that's a fucking vein. That, that's well, that's one of those uh philosoph vein philosophies. Some Alex Jones isms. <laughs> I be watching them every once in a while, bro. But oh, it's hard to watch. That, that's the spirit. The spirit hit again. Cause as soon as you said the word element, I came across the element. That. Well, I have to look up the word. El- oh, cause rude ament, yeah. element. Yeah. Rudiment, yeah, yeah, element. Yes, sir. Does a mint go to the mind though too? Yeah. I mean, literally, it looks like the same definition. I've looked both of them in the um, Greek, and it's pretty much the same thing. Cause it said the elements, the element, the elements, uh, the heavenly bodies. It said the same thing. Oh, we dealing elements. with elements out here, bro. We the yeah. elementals. <laughs> the yeah. elemental. We the elementals. Yeah. Hey, that'd be a good superhero team. Yeah, I think that's literally the same word. What the hell? Rudiment, elements. Yeah, literally the same word. Cause G four seven four seven says the same thing. Yeah. Wow, bro, that's the spirit. My, see, I'm gonna learn something. That's good, man. Every day we get to learn something. Mm-hmm. So we didn't even really teach nobody. I mean, we teach them, but we learning. We know that nobody came up and talked to us. Yeah. Not yet. It was not over yet. Yeah. <laughs> this is Galatians four and three. It says, uh, it says, even so, we when we were children were in a bondage under the elements of the world, but when the fullness of the time was come. God sent forth. So yeah, as I remind me that other scripture was that Peter's, where it said, uh, "You was, um, you, uh, you once were," because it named like it named like murderers and and adulterers, named all the wicked shit. It said, "You once, you once were," and now people look at you strange. Roughly paraphrasing, now that you don't follow that same way, it says now it says, uh, "Even so, we were, we were children." We're in a bondage under the elements of the world. So before we came to the truth, we was in a bondage. You about to say something? No, it's just, oh, yeah. it's just blowing my mind. It said bondage of the elements of the world. Yeah. It says, but when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son made of a woman made under the law to redeem them that were under the law that we might receive the adoption of sons. To redeem them that were under the law. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who's yes, that talking about? Yes, Who was under the law? Yes, sir. That was Volcab yes, Malone. He... Man, why did I say his name? Yeah. They should delete our channel for me mentioning him. Yeah. This should be a punishment. Yeah, yeah he, well, how are you going to explain that scripture? To redeem them that were under the law. Israel is the only ones that was under the law. Just like Saul. So, I mean, when Moses went up to the Mount Sinai to get the law, he came down and gave it to the Israelites. He didn't give it to the Egyptians. The Lord killed all of them, drowned, drowned them in the sea. They sank like a stone. That was beautiful, man. He didn't give the commandments to the Canaanites. Joshua and them was killing them, all the Canaanites. So explain that one. So the Yahweh Shai came to redeem Israel. Because his name, Yahweh Shai, the one you guys call Jesus, the world, oh, the world call him Jesus. They got a whole nother God. We call him Yahweh Shai. Everything they do is wrong. Just like their political systems is wrong, their religious systems is wrong. Their re- speech concerning the Bible is wrong. Because the Lord's name is Yahweh Shai. Yah means he in Hebrew. Yah means he. He. Him. Okay, Yahweh Shai, that means the deliverer or the, the savior. Or you could say redeemer also. Because to redeem means to save him, you know. Because he's the redeemer of Israel. He came to bring salvation to Israel, to redeem Israel. Because really, the Lord cast Israel away. He said, you're not my people. But then it said, yeah, they, you're going to bring Israel back. And he said, you, are, you shall be called the sons of the Most High. And that's why, uh, going back to the doctrine, you know, knowing you're Israelite, so on and so forth, following, following the uh, Israelite doctrine is so important because if you, in your whole mind, keep thinking that you're an American that you're African American or whatever the hell, then the salvation ain't gonna be for you because the Lord only saving His people. And if if you American ain't the Lord's people, you know what I'm saying? And what is an American? Like I heard the Elder Tar say years ago, he said if you're an American, that means you descend from America Vespucci, right? If you're an American, because what what the hell is an American? Yeah, because Israel. Can, that means you descend we can, from Israel. That's just, America is just some shit. They they, they just made it up. We say you're an Israelite. This has a basis in facts and real life and history. You know, because the word Israel comes from a man named Jacob whose name was changed to Israel. And he became a, a father of 12 tribes of Israel. And each tribe is a great nation unto itself. 
These are real actual people. What? This is a real actual people on the earth. Y'all gonna tell me the ancient Israel didn't exist? You gonna tell me the Jerusalem never existed? It's not real? That the Roman Jewish wars never happened? Where are these people? Where are all these Israelites? Where where are this, these great people? Where did they go? Where are they? Where are they today? Where are these great people? This people that the Lord said would be as many as the sands of the sea. As numerous as the stars of the That's a lot of people. As many as the sands of the sea? Where are they at? Where's this great people at? This is the one I was looking for originally. Uh, Colossians 2 and 20. Uh, it says, Colossians 2 and 20 says, Wherefore, if ye be dead with Mashiach from the rudiments of the world, why as though living in the world are you subjected to its ordinance? There you go. That's the word I was looking for. I'm going to look that word of ordinance. Ordinance? I was looking for that one. I don't know. Yeah, the proper ordinances are the ordinances of the Heavenly Father. Like we're going back to his commandments. And the commandments was given to Israel, not to the heathens. But look, in the kingdom of heaven, all, all nations, they're going to follow the commandments. Ain't nobody going to be eating swine's flesh in the kingdom. Ain't no nation on earth going to be committing adultery in the kingdom of heaven. They go, you know, ain't going to be none of that. Ain't going to be no gay marriages in the kingdom. Can you imagine that? Oh, gay marriages in the kingdom? Shit. Are you serious? That's America is the kingdom of Satan. I mean, if you can't see that, something's wrong with you. They don't want to talk about equality, you know? Oh, shit, if I say equality's wrong, that gets challenged. I don't know. He's all talking about order, order. Order. <laughs> Damn, order. That motherfucker is out of order. Yeah, he's the most out of order of them all. They don't follow none of this, the commandments. He's the devil from the beginning. This word ordinance says to decree, command, enjoy, and it's like enjoying. Which we supposed to be drawn into the Lord. What does that mean? Lawyer? I think but Levi is. Oh, yeah, him. yeah, yeah. Be drawn to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? It says, that shit, that's the vow. Be drawn to me. You know what I'm saying? Because what, what, what do they do with a the marriage? They make that little vow shit. Yeah, you make all, a vow. It's, we change our vows. And they, then they become enjoined. They become one. Because I think it's what marriage means, right? It means one yeah, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we be enjoined to the Lord. It says, lay down in ordinance. Uh, to prescribe, this is the uh, strong definition. It says to describe by the statute, uh, to su submit to, ceremonially rule, be subject to ordinance. You're supposed to be subject to the ordinances of the Most High, not of America. Mm -hmm. Hey, but we subject to these laws too, though, because you have to follow these laws. Well, I believe one of the elders said, like, you got you to gotta, you gotta obey the law until you can't obey the law no more. Something like that. Yeah. Because then when they bring out the vaccines and the chip. Oh, yeah. Well, they're going to get to a point and you can't obey it. It's going to yeah, yeah. It'd be unconscionable. <laughs> you know, don't, don't go around <laughs> driving 20, 200 miles per hour on the fucking street and shit. You yeah. Know, you're going to be wild. Miles per hour. What's the shit called? Speeding. Yeah. Reckless driving. I'm going crazy. And shit. Yeah. Don't be out here just wilding out. Just, <laughs> you know, talking about, oh, I ain't got to follow these laws. Yeah. Fuck America, you know? You just you put Edomites in slavery. You see if homosexuals, you can't, if you see a homosexual, you can't go kill them. They be like, oh, I hit him with the Leviticus right before I got him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can't do that. Yeah. And if you see an adulterous woman, you can't put her to death. You can't do that. I'm a sovereign, what do they call them? I'm a sovereignty. I'm yeah, I'm sovereign. Oh, shit. They oh, take your you sovereign dead. ass away from us. Yeah. You know, go back where the fuck you came from. That's what, they, that's what, the, that's what the Israelites I mean. Uh, Edomites gonna tell you. Well, take your ass back to, to Africa, or whatever the hell you. From. They gonna do pull the old yeah. They, don't be doing the old old driving without a license plate. Yeah. You, <laughs> you be asking for truth. They gonna get you, man. Yeah, shit. They like I watched the video on YouTube. The officer put. I don't have to pull down the window. I know my shit. rights. You gonna be a. Uh, <laughs> Bust that window open. <laughs> but the time, they been there screaming like, "Why are you doing this?" Remember, remember, remember that video that yeah, nigga, yeah, the Israelite. Yeah, he's like, "Yeah, I'm shy, I'm shy. yeah." He was, he was sitting in <laughs> prayers. Well, I think the Most High heard your prayers because what was it? When he turned to prayer, that was really a curse yeah. when he prayed. You weren't supposed to be doing that. You know, you're supposed to walk. You're supposed to ooh, have some goddamn sense, man. That's what you're supposed to do. Because some of y'all just ain't got no. You, some, some things you ain't got to explain. You know, because you want to play games, go ahead and play games.
play games with the serpent. It's like it's cool. You might I can play with the serpent a little bit. He ain't gonna get me. I'm like, ha ha. He didn't get me. He didn't. But sooner or later, he's gonna get you. Keep playing with him. You gonna pay your charm. Yeah. Cause Esau, he that nigga waiting to bust you motherfuckers in the head. He can't, especially now. You gonna give him a reason? <laughs> shit. Man, they just blowing people away. They don't give a goddamn. They they riot. If there's been a new riot every week, cause someone get blown away. This um, Matthew five, and uh, I'm gonna start at twenty five. Says, agree with thine adversary quickly. Say, agree with thine adversary quickly. Don't say when a cop pulls you over, just sit here and just and this you gonna make a stand. Yeah. It just say go make a stand. True. I mean, you gotta be smart, man. Bro, you really, really, you should know how to manipulate your enemy. You know, by being peaceful and being being polite. Like Daniel, he 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 was doing what he's supposed to do, but then when the time come, when it was like, okay, you yeah. got to bow to, okay, that's now. You yeah, yeah, you, you take but, it too far. But before then, he had his good status amongst his he amongst the heathen. He wasn't tripping, you know, kicking people and shit, you know, doing bugged out shit. He was doing what he's supposed to be doing. Like the old saying goes, "Kill him with kindness." Mm-hmm. You know, they see you're a kind person, you're not a, a an aggressive person. You know, they're not gonna treat you aggressive. If you coming out all aggressive, huh, he now he getting defensive. You know. Which like don't add gasoline to the fire. Obviously. It says, while thou art in the way with him, he said any time the adversary delivered thee to the judge, and the judge delivered thee to the officer. Yeah, because a lot of people just go to jail needlessly. Mm-hmm. Y'all put yourselves out there. Mm-hmm. You could have avoided a lot. I could I got arrested before doing dumb shit. While well, we was making a video, I mean it was a fire video that we cussed the cops the fuck out. But pff, come on, man, that wasn't even necessary. The cops could have came up. I could have been cool. And if we just went home, I don't have to pay no money. It could have maybe talked to him or something, you know? But it happened the way it happened. That was the way the spirit, because I learned from that, you know? I learned from that, because I ain't saying it ain't happened since. I bet you I ain't got arrested teacher since. Have I? I don't think so. I can't remember. I remember, I, remember I was hoping my, my sister's friend's family moved to what, Kentucky. And then we was driving down some bridge, whatever. And then the cop pulled us over. It was late as fuck. And it was like two so-called white cops. And one, I know one was a Jake. I don't know about I don't know about the other dude, but but uh, the dude pulled him over and shit. And then the dude, the two dudes, it was like four of us. The two dudes, he had he had they had weed. They found weed on him and shit. And the one friend, he just he, he just snitched the dude out. It's not mine. <laughs> he being a bitch, but but uh. Yeah, they think they can about to do life for some weed. Yeah, and it's, yeah, cause he was bugging, but like the cop, cause the, cause the dude was like, "Oh, you stopped us because you because we're black," and then the cop was like, "Dude, like, I'm like, bro, I stopped you because, oh, whatever." He, he explained it, whatever, and then he was like, "He was like, man, I'm not racist. Man. I got, a, I got, a, I got a so-called black wife, children." And he was a J. He was the coolest cop yeah, I ever yeah, met. Yeah. And then he was like, "This weed, it was like a little bag or whatever." He said, "Man, fuck this." He threw that shit over the, over the bridge like that. You can't go to jail for that shit anyway. So he was like. You know what I'm saying? He's being cool with them. Yeah, but, yeah. And I, I, just, I actually seen a video, too, of the, it was this, this nigga. He was sitting on a porch at his mom's porch. I guess his mom wasn't home. He's waiting for her. And he tried to go through the garage or whatever. And then when the cop came, he was being cool. The cop was being cool as fuck. And the dude was just getting mad over nothing. Like, nigga, just give the nigga your ID. And then you, but in the end, pretty much he got tased. You only got to do is give the nigga your ID and just explain. Call your mom. Prove that I'll have Prove, tell this officer I'm your son, whatever. And, and he'd be cool. Because really, that was the most high that tased you. He's like, sit your ass down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He really right? Right, real. He tell you the most high. Tell you that the wicked is the most high's rod. Oh, you know that scripture? The, uh, songs. Oh, like, we talking songs? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> sit your ass down. Mm. You see, you see somebody get tased. That's some funny shit, yeah, man. Yeah. I be watching the video, bro. So we get they get lit up just shaking and shit. Through. <laughs> Through. <laughs> Well, we feel they got the lowest part. Oh, okay. Where it okay. says, and thou be cast into prison. Uh, <laughs> really, I say to thee, thou shalt by no means come out thence till thou hast paid the uttermost foddering. So, what, well, Esau gonna make you pay them? Yeah, you gotta pay all that money. bullshit, man. <laughs> Fuck you get <laughs> through. You through. Well, who wanna pay all that money, man? It's hard enough to survive with all these damn fines and shit. You gotta walk, you gotta walk a narrow, the narrow way path, man. Don't be a dumbass. That's the path you're supposed to walk. They probably, they probably ain't Japanese. 
But it says, uh, Psalm 17 and 13 says, Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint them, cast them down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Yeah, the wicked is the sword of the Lord. He bring the wicked, he used the cops to punish us, because almost everybody you see getting shot, they was doing something wicked, man. They was doing something wicked. They was doing something wicked and something evil. And they was up to no goddamn good at all. He was a good boy. Yeah, man. He was, you know, they, man, they lying out there through their that's damn why the, teeth. That's why the Lord put him down. Because he used the wicked, which is Esau, okay, the cops, the Edomites, and he used them to punish you. If you was really a good law-abiding citizen, you, 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 well, you still might get shot by the cops, actually. But your chances decrease significantly. But the cops still might shoot you, though, because we're dealing with the, the devil, you know? Romans 13 and uh, 13 and 1 says let every soul be subject unto the higher powers for there is no power but of God the powers that are ordained <clears throat> that uh, the powers that, that be are ordained of God right because the only reason America exists is because the Lord allowed it to exist really the, this is all the most high's creation this is because first of all the most high prophesied that America was going to exist before it even existed. Just like he prophesied that Alexander the Great was going to rule before he before he was even born, it was prophesied by the prophet Daniel. So everything is, this is all set up by the Most High. This is He wrote the script. He wrote the play. This is it right here. So he created this. And he's the one who put us here. You hear all these brothers, your brothers always say, they say what? Anything that exists is the will of the most high anything that is an actual reality is really going to, and re, this is this is the will of the most high oh uh, go ahead it says uh whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of god and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation all right because um real quick though just like you know the lord said given unto caesar that was the caesar's right so if they got tax laws, don't be trying to be the, unless you really smooth with your shit and you really know what you're doing, but they still going to get you. You know, pay your taxes. You know, don't be doing dumb shit or, you know, trying to be, yeah, like you said, call yourself a sovereign citizen, ride around with no license plates. Talking about, oh, I'm sovereign. All this madness you're talking about. Or some others, just follow the laws. You know, don't be out here doing being a dumbass. Says, I mean, obviously, like, we don't follow unlawful law. If they tell you to take a microchip, you don't take the microchip. We know that's the mark of the beast. Okay, that's why the Christians, a lot of churches will try to use the same scripture right here, Romans 13, to say, oh, you have to take the chip because you're supposed to follow the laws and the ordinances of the, you know, the government. And they're going to use this scripture to tell you to do it. It says, for rulers are not terror to good works. And they're really not. I mean, well, they are, but they're not because... Right, does the cops come fucking with us when we're teaching the Bible? They don't ever mess with us. But if you out here beating people up or causing problems, you know, being all loud and obnoxious, the cops are going to fuck with you. They're going to be like, what the fuck is y'all doing out here? You know, break this shit up and take your ass home. Yeah. What you doing out here at damn three in the morning? You know, y'all dancing on top of cars, bitches half naked. You know, no, there's a, yeah, take your ass home. Says, says, would thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. Right, you out here, if you out here robbing and stealing, you out here robbing and stealing, you're going to get what you got. Mm -hmm. Esau got that shit on his hip. That motherfucker, hey. Oh, he got the, he keep it on him, don't he? Yeah. Hey. They keep it on him. The cops and the citizens. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Y'all, the citizens keep it on him, but the cops, they really keep it on him. Mm -hmm. And that shit, you can see it, too. This is ready to go. Yeah, like that one dude, I seen a video yesterday, dude was beating some niggas' ass. He was, you know what I'm saying? And dude, just, he got his ass beating, pulled, he turned around, shot him, tried to blast him, empty that motherfucker. So you got to be careful who you, you know, some some fights, fights you might have to avoid unless unless it's unavoidable, you know. That's why the, revenge, that's so. why the Lord said turn together the cheek. That means avoid fights. Yeah, yeah he 
saw it because he that's that's his blessings, his sores. So yeah, he don't sword. bear that in vain. Well, yeah, like the cops, bro. They training all day. They constantly thinking about guns, watching gun videos. This, this, they going to the range. They got their skills down. It's the Glock 20. They be yeah. They know everything. They know everything. They obsessed with it. Yeah, he saw them want to fight you. Nigga want to shoot you. Yeah, nigga. Main, most likely, you know what I'm saying? He saw he can't fight. Some of them got some mighty. of them can. Yeah, yeah. Some of them got mighty man, but yeah, yeah. The majority of Edomites they just want to shoot your ass. That's their blessing. You know it's saying? the sword. Uh, it says, uh, uh, "For he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon them that do it evil." Yeah, to do it, man. A lot of our people, y'all deserve to get. Really, a lot of y'all deserve to get shot by the cops. A lot of y'all evil, y'all. No, just evil, just grimy. You know what I'm saying? These people that grimy, man. Mm -hmm. Every day they rob you, they kill you, they shoot you. You know, just, just, just no conscience at all. You know, they just no thought. They don't even care if they even go to jail. They're not even a. They're not afraid to go to jail so at all. Want to go to jail? Yeah, it's like they like going there. It's like yeah. they, they really like it. We had those stripes they called. The what? The stripes. So they told, oh, I'm in the jail. You know, they, people, they brag about it. They didn't brag about it. So it's like, especially these youngers too, man. They are not afraid. And they, they just wise to do evil. To do good, they have no knowledge. they just evil. Just grimy. Because two-thirds of Israel is evil, bro. they just evil. They just got a satanic spirit about them. Yeah, y'all gang members, y'all deserve it. Yeah, that's satanic. All that gang banging, all that rap shit, all that trap, that drill shit, and all that. That's satanic, man. Like the motherfucking. If he, if he, if he, if Trump was a. <laughs> he got some skills on that shit. If, if, if Trump, whoever ruler, like like your boy, the Philippine ruler, I forgot his name. Oh, uh, Dur Durant or something? Yeah, that's my nigga. He be, yeah, he go hard with his shit. Kill your ass. You shit. a drug dealer? Shit, he might be a Jake. Shit, I'm yeah. thinking, I don't got me thinking like, this dude, I got to look at the pictures or yeah. something. I, like, well, I he, going, I, he, he going too hard with his shit. I'm, I'm kind of convinced he might, I think, uh, I don't know. Leaning, I'm leaning towards Jake. I don't know. Oh, uh, he could might be, wrong. be you never know. Be wrong. I'm just thinking, I was like, damn. But, but he, yeah, he got hit, him and his, some of his people got the right mind. They say, you a drug dealer, you can put your ass That's just like the Africans, the Africa with the homosexuals yeah. and stuff. They don't play. Yeah. They even got, what they call them, the Vangelis, how you pronounce it? The what? The Vangelis, how you pronounce it? The Evangelists? No, nah, it's like people that like, it's like, like pretty much like the Punisher. Like, oh, yeah, the Vigilantes. Kill. Yeah. Like in Philippines, oh, they man. they got I, them niggas. They go around killing drugs. Oh, y'all can't like, be vigilantes either. I used oh yeah, yeah. Course, I used yeah. to wonder. You know, we all fantasize about that yeah. one. You know, be like <laughs> like the Punisher. Yeah. You got here just start getting fools. So. But shit, if it was like, right, this shit about to die, bro. Uh, Say shalom. How? What time is it?